So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the artwork that I've collected from one of my very good friends, Elisa. Hi, Elisa, if you're watching. So she has an Etsy shop, which is called... <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce it and I asked her how to pronounce it and she said don't ask me so this is her Etsy name so I've actually bought quite a few paintings a few uh, drawings <laughs> yeah. a few <laughs> the whole floor is like laden with artwork <laughs> not that it's a bad thing they're yeah. all beautiful if you saw right now what was in front of me you would be like wow this girl has a problem but you know what I don't care because Elisa's artwork is beautiful. Mina can even like vouch for this. Yeah, yes. she can see like her artwork is phenomenal. I was introduced to Elisa through Etsy. So I was just like browsing through Etsy. I think I was like looking up Disney artwork and one of her drawings came up and then her Etsy shop came up and I just fell in love. She does have an Instagram which I'm going to place in the links below. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight to it yeah. and show you what I have because it is a lot. So I'm going to actually start with one that you've already seen which was in our, was in our <laughs> Animal Kingdom video. So this is Tarzan and Jane. The thing is she takes commissions so if you message her and tell her oh I want this drawn or I want I was thinking of you painting this. She'll message you back and tell you the different um, sizes and the details. Yeah. The different sizes, the, the mediums that she does. So I messaged her and I said, I really want you to draw Tarzan and Jane for me. And I actually sent her the picture of the scene that I wanted drawn, which is this one over here. So this is obviously the scene of the movie where they're swinging on the vines. Oh, wait, for a second I thought it was like... What? The hand thing. No! Are you serious, Mina? I, I wasn't looking at it! Okay, so Mina's gonna be holding them while I'm talking about them. Anyway, so this is the scene in the movie where Tarzan and Jane are swinging on the vines and it's like late at night and like I feel like this is the scene where like they realize like, oh, they're in love. something is happening here. Yeah, we're feeling something. So, again, the detailing on this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. This is watercolor. Yeah, she did paint this, so this is a painting of what using watercolors. And this is the 5x7 option. It's really beautiful. I'm absolutely in love with it. I didn't get a frame for it yet. I didn't get a frame for a lot of these because I just don't have the time, but I just love having them in my collection. Uh, another one is actually framed. This is Kylo Ren and Rey. I actually approached Elisa and I was like, I'm really obsessed with Kylo Ren right now and Rey being together. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like we're gonna get hate for this because yeah. a lot of people don't like Kylo and Rey together, no. but whatever. So I told her, I said, I want them to be drawn in a the same picture, and she's actually the one that thought of this. She said, you know what, why don't I do the half of Kylo's face and half of Rey's face and have the lightsaber in between? It's really said, clever, yeah. Yeah, so I said, you know what, do it, go for it, and obviously the end result was amazing. Look at the detailing again on this. This is also a watercolor, 5 by 7 so it's the same size as Tarzan and Jane. This was actually given to me as a birthday gift from Rowan, and I was really surprised to see it. She got me a Snape painting made by Elisa also. This is so beautiful. I, <laughs> I love it so much. I just feel like she really captured Snape. Like, Again, I showed her a picture of how I want, like, right. which Snape I wanted her to draw. And I mean, she beautiful. captured him. The detail in the outfit, in his face, the always. Oh my god, I just. She thought of that. I love it. She thought of that. Elisa, you're very clever I with love what it you so do. Much. Yeah. I know. It's so cute. I have it on my bookshelf displayed, and it's one of my favorite things that I own, actually, <laughs> which is really cool. So thank you. These are actually watercolors also, but they're smaller. They're not as big as the other ones. So, okay. She doesn't just do Disney artwork. She does, like, anything. Anything that you want. I just wanted to clarify that. She doesn't just do Disney artwork. It's other things that you can ask for. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind this because I'm doing such a bad job. Okay, so this is a scene in Thumbelina. Thumbelina and Anastasia are my favorite non-Disney like cartoons that I grew up with. And she does a lot of Thumbelina and Anastasia, which is great. Keep doing that, Elisa. Keep doing Thumbelina and Anastasia. This is one of my the first things I asked her to do for me. And it's the scene in Thumbelina where she, it kind of like uh, zooms in on her face after they after she says goodbye to Cornelius and it like zooms in on her face and she just like oh, Cornelius I actually wrote that <laughs> in the message to her I was like you know that scene where like they just danced 
and like he he leaves and like it zooms in on her face and she says oh Cornelius and she, I was like I'm sorry I'm such a weirdo again the detailing on this is absolutely beautiful I love it here it is up close okay this is another one it's Anastasia in her formal gown. I'm not completely sure what scene this is from exactly. I think this is five by five inches. I don't, I don't know. I might not be, <laughs> you don't know math. I don't know anything about It might math. not be um, accurate, but again, you can it's look the up smallest, the size. Is that the smallest size? I think the, it is the smallest okay. size, yeah. So again, you can look up the sizings in her Etsy shop and she does message you like what each one costs and stuff so you can always ask her. My Show fave. This one? Yeah. Okay. This is actually made with Copic markers. I think they're called Copic markers. If not, I'm an idiot. But <laughs> we're not art people so like forgive us. This is a Pocahontas obviously. This is actually one that she posted on her Instagram and she was like it's available and I said you know what it's beautiful. It I is. want it a part of my collection so I bought it. Along with your order she does draw you something on the side so I never like ordered this but because I guess it has to do with Pocahontas so this is John Smith. A sketch of him and his many poses. There's one of him smiling, one of him like angry, and one of him when he's I think looking at Pocahontas for the first time. That's really sweet of her to do where she gives you a little bit more of what you um, asked for. This one is Anastasia and Dimitri. This is one again where she posted on her Instagram and I was like I am going to get this. So I like immediately go to her Etsy shop. They're dancing in when they're on the boat ride going to don't ask me. Paris. Yeah, going to Paris. These are beautiful, both of these. Okay. I'll hold one. Yeah, can you? Please. Okay. <laughs> let me do something. Nina's like, let me do something. Just sitting here. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is of Thumbelina and Cornelius. So this is of them when at their wedding day, and this is them when they're dancing to Let Me Be Your Wings in the movie. Interesting story about this. Again, I said that she uh, posts stuff on her Instagram. There was a drawing of Thumbelina and Cornelius that she posted up, which is this one. I'm gonna show you like really quick. And it's so pretty. And I missed out on it because again, you missed like, out on it? Like she's, wait, this is not the original though. This is a copy of okay. um, the original. But anyway, like I was saying, she posted it and I missed out on it. Weeks later, she posts up these two in one picture and she goes, this one's not available, but this one is for whoever wants it. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to get this. Immediately I placed the order and I actually comment and I have the comment. Honestly, if I had if I had the chance, I would have bought both of them. So I was happy, I do a little dance. I'm like, I have a Thumbelina and Cornelius drawing. I guess like a couple of minutes later, you message me, Elisa. Elisa messages me and she's like, What's funny is that this one was for you. I had drawn for you, like specifically for you. That's why it was not for sale. And now you have both. So she's so sweet like that. Like, are you kidding me, Elisa? I love both of these. They're so beautiful. They are. But yeah, so now I have two Thumbelina and Cornelius's. Three. Well, technically three. So again, this is another Copic drawing of Ariel. You can hold that if you want. These are just like things that she's included in her orders. So this is one of Thumbelina. This one is of Anastasia and Dimitri. This one is of Mike Wazowski. And this one she made for Sophie's room. It's poo with the balloon because Sophie's room is decorated as Winnie the Pooh. Oh no, this is the one for Sophie's room. This is the one for Sophie's room, I'm sorry. I have so many, like I, I lose track. So she does do copies of original works that she's done. These are like very affordable. They start at like $8. I'm just gonna show you again. This is the one of Cornelius and Thumbelina that I missed out on. This is of Peter Pan. This one's of Ariel, Alice. I just have so many, right? It's just like never ending. And this one is of Belle. This one is beautiful. So Elisa actually sent this with one of my orders that I just ordered from her because I asked her to draw something for my best friend. Her birthday's coming up. So she included this and she actually, like, let me read you the note. She's like, hi Rowan, I added an A4 matte print of my favorite Belle drawing pretty close to the original. I thought it may look good in your collection. <sighs> Elisa, you spoil me. Really, you do. And this one is the one I asked for my friend. She's a big fan of Downton Abbey. 
I suggested this. Yeah, you did suggest this. It was between Pemberley in Pride and Prejudice or of Downton Abbey, and she told me go with Downton Abbey. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm speechless. Like, really speechless. The last one I saved for last because it's one. Of, it's actually my favorite ones that she's ever made. So my daughter's birthday was in April and she was turning one and I would take a picture of her in a Disney costume kind of like a Disney outfit and I wanted Elisa to draw out like my favorite ones so this is of Sophie. Sophie. This is her as Dumbo and this is her wearing a Mike Wazowski hat and then her as Sully, Piglet, um her eating piglet, Stitch, Winnie the Pooh, and again, Mike Wazowski. This is like one of my prized possessions. It's hanging downstairs in my living room. I'm just like in love so with cute. it. It really is so cute. Look at that. How beautiful. And then it says, Our Sophie. So that was it for, I mean, it's a lot. I'm like, that was it. That's, that's all I have. I'm obsessed, Elisa. Like, really, I'm obsessed with all of your artwork. Please check out her. Instagram account and her Etsy shop. She's such a pleasure to work with. She's really a sweetheart and I really feel so sad that she's located in Belgium and I can't like meet her in person. I do really consider her one of my closest friends through the interwebs. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Elisa, thank you for all your artwork. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think that's it. That is it. So, have, have a magical, magical day. Bye. Okay. okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, I need my phone for this. I'm so nervous. Why? Because this is, well, she's literally gonna watch this. Like, okay, so her name is Elisa. It's not <laughs> Elisa. <laughs> Call her up now. So, oh my god, I'm why ready. Are you freaking out? I don't know why I'm freaking out. Okay. I, I like literally wrote down how I was gonna say this. Do you want me to like hold it up for you, like out of the camera's view so you can read it? <laughs> right. What? Oh, hold on. <laughs> It was just on a random. A one drawing of Anastasia and... No, Cornelius and Thumbelina. <laughs>